All right, everybody, welcome back to Valkyrie Profile and the end of this awful, awful dungeon. Um, sorry about that. I don't know why that happened. Um, uh, let's see, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Okay. All right, and we're going to head to the right here and fight the boss. And it's going to suck, but we're going to do it. And we're going to make it. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. We got this. Queen Hell of Nippelheim. Sure. And the Hell reaches all the way to Midgard now. Interesting. So when everyone gather here, Valkyrie has arrived. Form the Queen, she'll be overjoyed. You know, Hell and Nippelheim really weren't that bad. Um, you know, why do you think the Christian Hell is named after her? It's because they, I mean, it's, is obviously pulled from that or named that by, you know, you know, they're Christian conquerors, but, but what's, what's more is that they weren't even necessarily like Niflheim was just like, um, not Elysium, but. I forget what the equivalent is in Greco-Roman. But like, you would go to Niflheim if you... That was just like the generic place for people to go in the afterlife. You know? It was pretty neutral. Like, hell would, be, hell would have been closer to... The, the equivalent of the Christian hell would have been closer to like, Nostrand. Which is more like... For, strictly for like, murderers and oathbreakers and such. Um, I have no clue how I want to play this. Ah, uh, no, not like that. Alright. Alright, well, best to just go for it. Yeah, let's see how, see how far we can whittle him down. You know what I should have done really was probably um, used like sap guard or sap power. Honestly, probably would have been a better choice, but too late now. Dreaded dragon, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of this PWS. I think it's really generic. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Okay. Alright, so, I think now... Uh, no, that actually won't work. Shit. Um... Okay. Oh man. I should be able to do it. I can just... I want to, uh, if I can whittle, whittle down the guy, yeah, this guy a little bit more, should be able to do it. Alright. I think we got it. Hell yeah. Alright. Now please, for the love of God, don't block. Yes! Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hell yeah, look at that! Oh man, I thought that was going to be much worse than it was. I must have been like really underpowered the last time I tried to do that. Look at all that EXP. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, alright. We are cooking with heat now. Give me that shit. Oh, 
Awesome. Uh, okay, now, with the creation gem equipped, I believe, I can transmute... Yes! Awesome! Alright, so you transmute this into the Aura Algen. In, um, in normal mode, you can still get this, but it comes from a different artifact that you find in a different dungeon that, for some reason, doesn't appear in hard mode. I kind of wish it did, but because it's a really cool-looking dungeon, but... Um, alas, it does not, but yeah, we're gonna make a safe state there just in case I do something I regret. Um, transmute. Okay. And now. For the moment we've all been waiting for, uh... Okay, where's the thing? Where is it? Oh, okay, there it is. Alright, creation jewel. Hell yeah. So the creation gem lets you do an alternate transmute, um, whereas the creation jewel will let you transmute just altogether more powerful shit. And what I mean by that is, uh, holy wait, that makes an icicle sword? I did not know that. All right, well, come back to that. Okay, so we get these. Crimson Edge. And a Glare Sword. Fuck yeah. Glare Sword is legit. And a Unicorn's Horn, also legit. Um. Alright. Oh, whoops. The Ring of Learning gets you extra experience. Uh, gem of Activity will get you more of the uh, red fire gems that uh, reduce your charge time. I'll put on the creation gem real quick because. Okay. Uh, no, I don't need that. Alright, what happens if I remove it? What do these transmute do? Eh. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you can get all sorts of just, like, batshit insane awesome stuff with this. And you cannot get this in easy mode. None of these items that I just... The Creation Jewel, Creation Gem, and the Aura Halcon, none of them show up in Easy Mode. So in a way, Easy Mode's even harder. I've never played on Easy Mode. Just because it seems boring. That's the only real reason, honestly. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I knew there was something I hadn't learned yet. Just trying to figure out what it was. Oh, nice. Alright, so we got that. Not sure what that does otherwise. Oh, okay. Actually, the crack ring is, is 
a good bit more useful in some cases, so I, I might make that instead. You do have to kind of look and compare, because sometimes you can get, if you only have one item, sometimes uh, it's better to transmute it with the... Uh, what am I trying to say? With the... Uh, Um, creation gem. Uh, I want to see if any of those things I just made transmute anything I don't already have. No. Okay. Well, what about with the gem? No? Nothing? Okay. Well, resist damage is very good. You want to learn that. And... I feel like there's more that we can get from this, but I'm not sure. I have to go back and double check. Uh, but yeah, and then there's this dimension slip thing, with that, which actually, I don't know that that transmutes to anything else, so I, I might actually just sort of remove this, go back and check. It doesn't transmute to anything without the gem equipped, what about the jewel? I had a list of like what all these things transmute to, but I don't feel like digging it up right this second. Alright, so we'll put the gem back on, and then we'll uh, transmute that to get a Dimension Slip. Dimension Slip basically makes you, uh, it lets you avoid random encounters, which is not something that you want to do, but in some cases it can make things easier and give you a breather as long as like you eventually go back and fight those enemies, you know, which I... I would always do, and I would always uh, recommend, but uh, there may be occasions where you can find use for that. Um, Alright, so we'll just go ahead and put that bad boy back on. And... Huh. There's supposed to be something that converts to the Gem of Creation which is different from the creation gem. Uh, which I, I feel like I've already said that, but I'm just reiterating it. <laughs> um, different from the creation gem. Um, and it basically makes it so that more experienced crystals show up, which of course is awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, something to keep in mind. Um, so Unicorn's Horn. Uh, Crimson Edge is an amazingly powerful spear. Um, Alright, so that's missing its third attack, so we don't want that, but... 10% chance of petrifying the enemy is pretty cool, but all in all, I'd prefer the Heart, pierce, heart Piercer. And then for this, yeah, Glare Sword. The only thing that sucks about these is that they don't have their full attacks, but they're still just crazy powerful. Um, I think I am actually going to go ahead and grab one of these uh, and put it on Valkyrie. Alright. I think that does it. I think we're golden. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, but seriously, fuck this dungeon. <laughs> Not a fan. And we still have one more dungeon to do after this, although thankfully... Um, yeah, if I, if I had remembered correctly, I wouldn't have done the Tower of Lazard Valath first. I would have done this first. Or the dungeon that we're about to go to first, and done the tower last. Um... 
But instead, I did, every I did everything pretty much in reverse order of difficulty <laughs> and general time consumingness. Uh, so like the next dungeon that we're going to, that's right, we've got three dungeons, dungeons in one chapter. It's pretty crazy, right? The next dungeon we're going to is the shortest of chapter four and the only one that appears in all difficulties. So, um, yeah, it'll be with the shit that I just transmuted. It's going to be just just I'm just going to fucking raffle stomp every fucking thing I find in there. It's going to be really kind of sad, kind of pathetic to watch, but I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to be laughing maniacally. All right, so um, there's actually one other thing that we got while we were in there. It was the Holy Sword Seraphy, and I can't remember how good or not good that sword is. Eh, not that great. And then I got this crane. Ooh, that is a baller ass bow. What was I using? I was using what the su supreme. Crescent arrow. Hot damn. Oh, it's got a chance of breaking. That's why. That's why. Okay, I knew it couldn't be that. I couldn't. Yeah, okay. It all makes sense now. I was about to be like, whoa, man. Like, that is banana sandwiches. Like, are you sure, game? Are you sure you want to give me that kind of power? Oh, and then the, there's these glare guards. So these special guards, the uh, extreme guard, the glare guard, and then there's a couple other we'll eventually get. Basically, they um, they don't have very high stats on them, but they increase your block rate significantly. Um, and when you do block, it counterattacks with a little auto thing. It has nothing to do with your abilities. It's strictly a thing mechanic that's tied to this piece of equipment, so it'll counterattack by shooting a dark light when it has a chance of petrifying the enemy. And the extreme guard just fires a little thing that does damage, and there's a couple other ones, but uh, yeah, they're all they're all very good. Um, actually, I don't know if I'm gonna stick with these guys all the way through. Well, you know. a little bit torn. Um, we'll bring Yannis in. Have I transferred anybody? Yes, I have. Okay. I, I honestly couldn't remember. It's been a few days. Um, fuck it. Let's give him one of these things. You know, it's the worst that could happen. It breaks. Um, okay, wow, yeah, Yannis has to catch up a good bit. That's okay. Once again, like every other RPG where I play, I don't like to neglect characters. In this game, the only time I neglect somebody is if I'm planning on sending them to Asgard, and even then I usually don't neglect them completely. Um, you know, you can't. Gotta make sure they can defend them for themselves at least a little bit. Yume has Jesus. a lot of shit. Alright, so actually I might want to... Well, you know, I don't think I am actually. I was going to give him a level with the experience orb. But I don't really think it's necessary because this dungeon I'm about to go into, I fully expect to just absolutely wipe the floor with it. Uh, actually, maybe I'll take this off and give it to, uh, give it to Yannis. I don't think much in here uses magic, but on the off chance any of it does, he is probably the one that could benefit most from reflecting it. Alright. Cool. 
Cool, cool. And I think we did all the cutscenes in the last episode. Not the last episode, but the episode before that. Um, Alright, so yeah, this is where we're going. Cave of Thacus. I hate this dungeon too. Even though I, I really shouldn't hate it that bad because it's it's a pretty short dungeon. But it's just like one of those dungeons that's like, eh. It's not very interesting and a lot of the enemies are a little bit annoying. Um, now's probably as good a time as any to show you the uh, big magic attacks. So yeah, each spell in the game has its own big magic attack that certain canes can cast. And they're AoE PWSs, and they do a shit ton of damage, as you can see. And it's different for each one. <laughs> That's probably true. Um, so I'll go ahead and go through all of them just so you can see them. Or all the ones that Yume has, at least. Some of them are decidedly way better than others. Like, way better. But yeah, um... Yeah. And there's like a whole casting, chanting, sort of, uh... Yeah, Dragon Bolt. Yeah, there's like incantations for each spell that they say. Um, and, uh, so, like, it's kind of cool, like, hearing them, like, actually make, like, like, they're, like, they're actually casting and they're, like, saying stuff. They're, like, you know, speaking the, I feel like there's a word for it that I'm utterly missing, but. I totally neglected to, uh, do the thing. But actually, I'll just use Sapguard. And I think that should be enough for me to get through him and kill him. Well, maybe not completely, but close enough. It's a nice way to make up for not having the middle attack, but... With attack power like that, I'm not going to really miss that little slide that she does. Actually, there's another. Yeah. I hate these slime things. They're really, like, my least favorite. Not a fan. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to switch the spell. That's alright. Uh. <laughs> uh, what else is there? We did poison blow, lightning bolts, we got ice ledge, yeah. The ice ones are by far the worst in my opinion. Like all of them only hit like two or three times. To my side, my noble I'm It's just weird that like both spells of that element are, like, not very good. But they can still freeze, so I guess there's that. Yeah, that one's kind of lame. It only hits twice. Like, there's there's ones 
uh, like the one for Firestorm and Dark Savior only hits once. But I think it hits like really hard, like that one hits really hard. They're still not great, but the other spells for those elements are really good. Like the um, the other fire one, uh, Fire Lance, turns into Calamity Blast, which hits five times. And uh, the other one for Dark, uh, Shadow Servant, turns into Meteor Swarm, which hits seven times. Uh, it's one of the best ones. I think uh, the one for Mystic Cross is even better. Because uh, it hits like seven or eight times. But, um... It, uh, but it, the animation takes longer, and so I think a lot of times people default to uh, Shadow Servant and Meteor Swarm just because the animation's over sooner. You don't have to sit through a movie every time. To <laughs> just casually walk away I like that. I didn't even mean to do that. Uh, let me get some MP here. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're doing it. We're cooking. There's no real way to avoid that. You're just gonna have to slide into them. Yeah, you guys are... You guys are in a sad position. that either. Well, there probably was. I just... Whatever. I don't care. Uh, ability, Stone Torch. Even though Stone Torch is technically Poison Element, the uh, PWS Big Magic for it looks more like fire, if I remember correctly. I can't remember what it's called. What's it called? Carnage Anthem. Yeah, it's like lava. I know the movies, the, the full motion videos for those castings are kind of slipshod, but I mean, for the time, it was pretty impressive that you got to have that for, like, you know. And, like, later in the game, a lot of bosses are going to have them, so. Starting next chapter, actually, I'm pretty sure. That's a really annoying mechanic, what we just had to do. <laughs> That's why I don't like this dungeon. Is there anything else I can make that I actually need? I don't think so. Here I am now, I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to Poison Blow. Um... When we bring in some other mages later, you'll see the... Some additional stuff for them. Damn, okay. What all is he missing? He's actually not... Okay, it's not that bad. It's just these and some of the new passive abilities. Didn't grab that for him. I'm go ahead and set these up too. there to do that. Uh, okay. Alright, sweet. Let's do it. So this is one thing that a lot of people miss in this dungeon. You have to talk to the sorcerer, and then you also have to talk to his corpse. This is the tool to reseal it. Leave the rest of me, yeah. So you, you talk to him, and then a lot of people forget to talk to his corpse, and so they get to the end, and they're stuck, and there's nothing they can do until they come back and talk to his corpse. It's 
really dumb. But yeah, make sure you do that if you ever play this game. Jeez. Our work is done. Don't worry, next chapter when I have a whole bunch of new characters that I have to start over with from level one, we're, we're gonna feel it. Don't worry. If I seem OP now, it's because I am. But the game's gonna get like progressively much harder from here. These guys. Actually, probably gonna regret that because it was my only one, but whatever. Yay, experience. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, the thing is, if you fall in, you have no way to get back on top of it because you already cut it and it floated up to the top. So you have to go back and like progressively cut more and create more platforms and then move your way across and it's annoying. What are these things weak to? They're weak to holy or they're weak to shadow, but I don't have any of that. I really should do it. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, and in the next chapter, we're going to get two new characters that are really going to start to make the story start to kick up a notch. Um, so it is important to make note of that. Um, oh, that's right. I have to go through. Ah, God, this is annoying. Uh... Next chapter is chapter 5. I'm trying to remember. The hard mode dungeon in chapter 5, I remember being a little bit, is when like the puzzles start to get a little uh, get a little bit crazy. And then in chapter 6 is when we have like the underwater one, which sucks. It's the worst. Like all water dungeons, right? Alright. Alright, okay. I just want to get this dungeon over with and move along with the story. Come on. Oops. Skills will be dulled by opponents like this. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. If you're wondering where the enemy is because of that red dot showing that there's an enemy in this room, part of this room is up here. You can't, you may have been able to see it in the corner up there just now, but if you look at the map, this room is actually bigger than it seems. Uh, but anyway, uh, come on, hurry up. Oh my god. That's actually, it's actually really annoying. Oh my god. No, motherfucker. Are you fucking kidding me? There you go. Just gotta time it right. No biggie. Nothing to it. Yeah, these are still the same versions of these enemies that were showing up in the Tower of Lizard Valleth, like, you know, two dungeons ago, so... I'm kind of... kind of over them.
Yeah, ne next dungeon will definitely see things kick up a notch. Well, not the next dungeon, but next chapter. The regular chapter 5 dungeon is... Actually, another dungeon that I really don't care for, just because it's... It's short, but it's also boring and tedious. Short, boring, and tedious. I mean, not the worst thing in the world. Could be long, boring, and tedious. But, you know. Alright. Come on. The enemy is vanquished. Fuck yeah, they're vanquished. Dumbass harpy bitches. Oh, god damn it. Totally didn't see him coming. Uh yeah, I can't use spells because I don't have the fucking thing. God damn it. Um Uh, whatever. Jeez. Doesn't even matter. God damn. Well, that's that. <laughs> I don't even know how the boss is gonna stand a chance against me. Jesus fucking Christ. It can be just unfair. So this thing, you have to shoot your... Oh, you can turn it off? I did not know that. Yeah, you... Turn it on with your crystals, and then that activates this thing back up here. And then you use that to drain the water here. Kind of a puzzle, but not really. <laughs> and thankfully, we're almost at the end of the dungeon. Um, the normal mode, the regular Chapter 5 dungeon is sort of, it's going to be, it's going to be the last dungeon that's like this, that's not only short and boring, but also, like, doesn't really have, it'll be the last one, it'll be the, it'll be the last dungeon of this kind that, like, doesn't have, like, you know, particularly challenging enemies or puzzles. Oh, this is the other thing. <laughs> the, the, the main reason to hate the first dungeon in Chapter 5 is because almost every treasure chest contains a, rent, uh, contains a monster that you have to fight. And they're really dumb, annoying, tedious monsters. Not fun ones at all. Um, so, yeah, they're kind of just annoying. <laughs> uh, all right. Do I have anything that will do fire damage? No, well, flare, those things are kind of shitty. Anything else? No, not really. Hmm. Look, not mean to do that. Though it probably doesn't matter. Oh, hey, there you go. So yeah, this thing will do a fuck ton of damage against the boss, and the boss's minions for that matter. And I think... Yeah, you know what? Why not? Or, well, hold on. Let me actually remove that. i transmute one of these firestorms into Fire Lance and uh, teach it to you, May. Or does she actually not need that much? No, we're not going to need that. Um, Alright, so we'll make that her main spell. And that'll let her use Calamity Blast, which is the third best, in my opinion, third best 
or well yeah no it's the third best uh big magic they call it big magic i you know it just means for your sorcerer when they cast their pws instead of just casting the regular spell uh you know what is it three three times in a row instead of doing that they cast like a, a, a huge aoe spell that's like a totally different thing and it has the full motion video and all that shit all that that means all right so she's set and then okay yeah i want to bring bring him up to speed definitely That's definitely, that's definitely good enough. Cool, cool. Uh, oh, wow, she has a lot. Okay. But max her guts out. That's good. Good, good, good. Okay, so that was already set, and then for you, May, go ahead and get auto item maxed out. What do these do? Is a curse? Eh. Eh. Not really that that amazing. Okay, so Awesome. Fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get her done. Oh, wow, we're at 48 minutes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll actually go ahead and cut the episode here. And uh, when we come back, we'll wipe the floor with the boss real quick. And then we'll go straight into the uh, sacred phase. All right, guys. So I will see you guys then. Uh, take care. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, all that stuff. And uh, I'll keep these, uh, keep these things coming. All right, guys. See you later.